The limit below represents the derivative of some function f of x at some number a. So using the limit, we're asked to state the function and the value of a. If we take a look at the limit definition of the derivative shown below, we have f prime of x equals the limit of the difference quotient as h approaches zero. So if we have a specific value of x, for example, if x is equal to a, we can say f prime of a equals the limit of the difference quotient where we substitute a for x as h approaches zero. So if we compare this limit, which is equal to f prime of a, to the given limit, we should be able to determine f of x as well as the value of a. So comparing the limits, notice how f of the quantity a plus h must equal five times the fourth power of three plus h, and also f of a must equal 405. Well, if f of the quantity a plus h is equal to five times the fourth power of three plus h, notice a must equal positive three. And if we know a is equal to positive three, then we now know that f of the quantity three plus h is equal to five times the fourth power of three plus h. So if we want to find f of x, we simply replace three plus h with x, which indicates f of x is equal to five times the fourth power of x, or just five x to the fourth. So this is what we're looking for, but let's also verify that f of a, or in this case f of three, equals 405. So again, we know a is equal to three, and therefore f of three must equal 405. Let's go ahead and check this. f of three is equal to five times the fourth power of three, which is equal to five times 81, which is 405. So again, we now know f of x is equal to five x to the fourth, and a is equal to three. I hope you found this helpful.